Hi there, this is the third video on derivatives. And in this video, uh, first thing I'm going to be talking about is uh, the differentiation of the function constant times a function of x. And the biggest thing that you uh, need to realize is that the constant makes no difference you could actually perform the product rule, as explained in an earlier lesson, but uh, you could perform the product rule to, to solve this, but essentially what happens is you can pull the C outside of the derivative. So this is the same thing as C times the derivative of f of x. Same exact thing. Now, another one that you that's pretty common to see in uh, calculus is d over dx of f of x plus g of x. And this goes for any function, so f of x and g of x can be anything we want, but uh, this is the exact same thing as d over d of x, the derivative of f of x plus the derivative of g of x. Same exact thing. All you do is you just split them apart. The, the addition makes no difference. And this is also similar in subtraction. I'll just draw it out for you, but it's the exact same concept. Derivative of x minus d over dx g of x. So you just split them apart. Now, one special case, and I'm just going to call this, uh, na how about natural exponent, right? Exponent, I think. Anyway, d over dx of e to the x. That's your natural exponent, right? That is going to be quite simply, and this one equals, so that equals e of x itself. And this is actually, a lot of people go, um, they look at this this situation, they go, well, well, how is this possible? Like, wow, but what you realize, what you need to realize is that uh, this is actually the very definition of what e is. First of all, numerically, e is equal to 2.718... Uh, uh, dot dot dot. There, it goes on for a long while, <laughs> and the but uh, the actual definition of it is uh, as the limit, uh, the limit of uh, as h goes to zero, it's e to the h minus one all over h, and the number that solves this to equal just one. Uh, the the number that makes this happen and write it out happen is e little exclamation and you can see it uh, right over here. So, when someone was trying to solve this before, back in whatever age, uh, they were saying, what number would this need to be to equal 1? And that's why they call it kind of like the natural log or the natural function, natural, natural. The, the reason is just because of that. Because they figured this out with uh, this definition, and it naturally occurs this way. So that's how they came up with E. And it also says a lot of things about circles and such. So, I mean, you'll see that later on, but um, it's best to kind of work with what we got here. Here, uh, let's take some examples of these three plus the natural log. Examples, please. I'll see you guys in the next video.